Welcome back to Two Dudes Three Legs Podcast with your host, Zach Dingy. And Tony Capaletti, we are back by popular demand in West Palm on a yacht. <laughs> That's right. We are now currently on a 65-foot yacht with about 15 of our guys that we brought out to the event. We're on day four. We just got done with the vote literally at 2 o'clock today. Got our stuff, drove here on the boat, and today we are here to expose the secrets about what was talked about at the 2024 vote conference. For some context, we've been in the Vogue Conference in 2021. 2021 was our first one. We brought three people, me, you, and Bryce, right? Didn't Noel go? And no, we brought four people to the first one. That's right, we brought four people. Second one, we had nine people. And this Vogue Conference, we had 48 people there. So my boy Zach got a shout out. We, were, we had the PP fourth himself. most people. We had the fourth most people at the Vogue Conference. And uh, we got a shout out, we sure did. And today, we're gonna do a little vote conference review. So stay tuned to the end. Pat did tell me about point number 14. So I'm gonna let everyone know about that little secret. If you were there, you know what I'm talking about. And he told me what for, uh, point number 14 was behind the scenes. So I'll let you guys know at the end. All right, <laughs> my boy t Cap. This is our third year there. The biggest difference, obviously, is that we brought half of our team there. Yep. Um, what was the biggest thing you saw? What was your, we're obviously different men every time we go to places like this. So what's your take? So away? for me, it, it's extremely different. The first time I went there, I just wanted to know how business works. And you'll get a thorough understanding of that at this conference. The second year I wanted to upgrade, just level up. Uh, and I certainly got that there. This year, a little more complicated. I have a much greater understanding of how business works. And my biggest takeaway this year uh, is I need to track my team's KPIs, all their key performance indicators. Mm. I need to be tracking appointments made, appointments ran, sold. The data, the data. Installed. Uh, so, so basically I went to this conference to get better at working and it just gave me way more work to do. <laughs> uh, but I'm grateful for that because I know that I'll be able to scale my team's performance. The biggest thing for me, we've been here, like we said, three times, and this time for me was all about bringing our team here. So last two years, we've come as managers and we try to take everything we learned and bring it back to everyone on our team. Yeah, the Elliott team was talking about that. Yeah, about what? It's like, uh, you know, you, you go to something incredible and then you try to tell them about it and you could never articulate never. how amazing it is and you could never bring back the energy that you received from the event. It's like so the, trying to explain the color red to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally impossible. We did a three day total hours. You know what it is we exactly? It's like a we one legger. 30 hours. When, when the husband's like, oh, I'm gonna tell my wife about how solar works. And you're like, you're never gonna explain it. Correctly. Correctly. We do 30 hours of business training with a 300 page book and we come back. How was the event? Mind blown. You don't understand. Like, you tell you. <laughs> I can't explain to you what the event is like. So. The biggest thing for me this year was bringing my team so that they can see it for themselves. We had seven total managers and 40 something sales reps. And uh, that, I'm excited to see what that's gonna bring back. But the big point I wanna make is that every time we have been here, not only are we in a different stage of business, but we're looking for totally different answers. So people are like, why would you spend Twenty, thirty thousand dollars on these conferences and come out to them every three years when it's basically the same information. The book is well, the PBD same five says steps it. of the book. The first thing PBD says is that quote about no man can step in the same river twice for it's not the same river and he's not the same man. See, I wasn't gonna get that quote right and that's why I didn't say it, so I'm glad you said it. Yeah, I remembered it after hearing it three times, which is another big thing. We all know that you never learn anything unless it's repeated. Facts. There's a few things that I had to hear a third time to really get in my head, Facts. like uh, the definition of EBITDA <laughs> and KPI, and now I know it. So every time we come, we're a different man. When you came here last year, you're a fresh dad. I wasn't even a manager. You're a fresh dad. Yeah. You were just starting to become a manager. He wasn't, he didn't have the title yet, but he was just acting as a manager, starting to step into the, the Just role. like fresh. Now you're 
You broke a record last quarter. Yep. We broke a record last month. Hi, Nick Mickery. And uh, now we're down here after all of that. But let me go back to my point, and then I want you to give your, your uh, another point from you. So every time I come down, I'm a totally different person, and I'm looking for different answers to different things. And even though he's going over the same five key points every time, it sounds and seems like a totally different conference because I'm looking at it through a totally different lens. 100%. And also, now that I've been here three times to the vote and went to the SLS, his sales leadership summit, I'm starting to really get to know these people. It's not like, you know, at a networking event, hey, how you doing, blah, 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 what do you do? Okay, cool, I'll talk to you later. You never see him again. Now I've seen these people three, four times. I really have a genuine connection with these people and we're doing business together. So um, I can't say it enough, the Volt Conference is the greatest conference I've ever been to, bar none, and that's my take on that part. Thoughts? Uh, Any others? Uh, huge, huge thing about the Volt that I love is you get instant access to the inside millionaire lifestyle. You are bumping shoulders with people who are worth up to hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, and if, if you want to become a more valuable person, you should be doing what the most valuable people do to become more valuable. Uh, that room is, is a serious, serious group of people. So you should really consider going to the vault. And if you have a team, the amount of money you spend bringing them there, you are going to make it back tenfold. I can promise that much. Let's talk real quick. Speakers. We had Will Gadara, who we're going to talk about last. Oh my God. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Max Tegmark, and, now, and Tom Ellsworth. And uh, Tom Ellsworth is always there, always phenomenal. Guy's a stud of a guy. The most smart person you're ever gonna meet in your life. Uh, he's raised $2.1 billion in sold companies. The guy's phenomenal. Uh, Max Tegmark is an AI guy, which if you're trying to pay attention to AI, He's the guy in the rooms that you're gonna to wanna to listen to him. He knows the background and what's really going on with the big companies. So he had some great insights to drop. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is just Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I mean, he's, he's amazing to listen to. Fucking unit. It's easy, I think, when you go to work, you got a lot of people around, you galvanize everybody, you can feel the momentum and the energy start to go. In unit. A massive human being. Bro, Bro PVD is a big dude. Yeah. And PBD is sitting across from him and PBD looks like a popsicle stick. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on here? Most importantly, Will Gadara. Will Gadara. What's, talk to me, Listen, Tony. Tell he me. didn't even say anything different than he did last year. I'm pretty sure he's got that thing scripted word for word. And when that guy was talking, he's moving you emotionally, which is sort of similar to what he does in his business. Uh, he will teach you how to how did I put it? He will expose the obvious in such a profound way. The way I explained it yeah. was, you can see your nose. You might not know this, but that's because it's right in front of you all the time. So you're just blind to it. But Will Gadara will expose these little things that are right in front of your eyes that you need to see. I'm going to tell you the story that he said, which was the most phenomenal story. I think everyone in the, he got like a standing ovation when he explained about the marriage proposal or the marriage ceremony. That was amazing. For those that don't know, let me go back for a second. He ran 11 Madison Park, which was the number one restaurant in the entire world. And he took it from number 50 to number one in one year, one year. He went from number 50 restaurant to number one restaurant. So he's talking about how he's big on customer experience and really giving people more than what they, uh, what they expect. And so these people come there they're at their, they're having their wedding ceremony basically there. Well, they were supposed to have their wedding ceremony. Apparently there was a big fight in the family. They never ended up having it. So they went there for dinner. And so the server overhears that they didn't get to have their wedding ceremony because of a big fight. Well, these guys go upstairs in their spare room and make a whole set of a wedding ceremony. They find out the song that was going to be played at their wedding. And they walk these people upstairs after dinner. As soon as they step into the room, their wedding song starts playing. And there's a wedding ceremony right there. I'm not crying. <laughs> You're crying. That's the type of stuff. And he, like what he said, it's like, yo, listen, when you're listening to Max Tagmark, this is how you're like, right? You're listening to The Rock, you're kind of excited. You're listening to Will Gadar, you are like 
this the whole time, writing down notes nonstop because every other sentence the guy says is a bar. Is a bar. bar. Every single sentence has value. It's phenomenal. He's got a book, Unreasonable Hospitality. If you've never read it, I suggest you go read it. Uh, you get a glimpse of what he talked to us about at the Volt Conference, but that guy, bar none, is the most phenomenal speaker. Two years in a row, he's been the most phenomenal speaker. Yeah. And I think he's highly underrated. I don't know how many people really know who he is. So anyway, let's he talk. He definitely needs some more recognition, but but we can't recognize all those people without recognizing PVD. That's what I was going to say. Perfect. That man is a living, walking, talking business legend. Mm-hmm. The stamina he has, I, I can't understand it. That's another huge takeaway of mine from this. I'm tired from <laughs> sitting and listening to him stand, walk, talk, and give a, a presentation. Mm -hmm. I'm tired from sitting. I know. And he's up there. How many hours do you think he was there? It was almost 30 total hours of business. In three so, days. Yeah, in three days. And he's just dropping bombs left and right. We're there from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. And now, so listen, he's right now at dinner right now entertaining oh, yeah. 100 people. Oh, yeah, with the Elliott group, right? He's at a, No, he, there's a CEO dinner tonight. CEO package oh, is a dinner. Oh. He's entertaining 100 people right now. It's not over for him. It's crazy. That guy, Patrick David, is the most special and gifted. I shouldn't even say gifted. That's not a good word for him. He is the most special person in media right now, and his mission and his vision and what he talks about is so strong. And I cannot recommend enough to go listen to Patrick but David and everything he has to say. I think he may be top 10 most important people in America right now. I agree. Top 10 most important people in America right now. I think his son is going to be the president. Phenomenal. Phenomenal father, husband, businessman, media Carter guy, right now, his son. friend, everything. Every category, 10 out of 10, hands down. His son is going to run for presidency against Barron Trump. Hot or take. Or they're going to run together. Say that one more time. His son is going to run for presidency either with or against Baron Trump. And The Rock did kind of announce if he's going to be running for president or not. I don't really know. <laughs> we won't give it away, but he might have announced something like that. Or um, he might not have answered any questions. Maybe. We don't know. I don't know. So anyway, um, would w will you be going back to the vault next year? Uh, I'm, already, I'm already buying the, the most expensive ticket I can buy. I think we're going to buy that five ticket, pack of CEOs. $65,000. Um, so I'm 100% going back. I think everyone here, we're going to have them talk in a second, but every single person that we brought has texted me thanking me for bringing them here, said it was one of the most life-changing events they've ever been to, and that they are 1,000% coming back next year. So biggest thing, Volt Conference will be coming back 100%. Let's talk about if someone should go, give me one point about why someone should go to the Volt and what it does for them. Well, if you care who, about maybe. excelling in business... If you are an entrepreneur and you don't know what you're doing, you're an idiot to not go. They have tickets as cheap as $800 and you're going to learn high, high level business from the most veteran and senior businessmen in the world. Like you'd be crazy not to. And for any level of the game, 40 of the people we brought here are sales reps. They don't own a business. They're not entrepreneurs. They're not co-founders. They're not C-suite executives. They're not investors. They're, they're salespeople. And they took just as much out of this as I did. They took just as much out as, as the CEOs did. Whatever level of business you're at, beginner, there's guys from literally $500 in their bank account all the way up to $500 million in their bank out there. And every single one of them has something to take away. Yeah. So I cannot recommend enough Tickets for general are 800 bucks, 900 bucks. You get in the room with these people. Pat is not a guy where he's only talking in the front row. Pat's walking down and up the aisles, tell, asking people all kinds of questions, getting everyone involved. It's interactive the whole time. It is an absolute 10 out of 10. What do you think the threshold should be for buying a, uh, a founder or CEO ticket? So the main difference between uh, platinum, general, and uh, what's the other one? Founder. Executive. Okay, so CEO, founder, executive, platinum. And general. general. So executive, platinum, and general do not get tables uh, or clout. <laughs> Sorry, but you're not getting clout in those sections. If you're a business owner and you're making at least 100K a year, you should absolutely buy founder or CEO. It's going to be worth it. You're going to make connections. Um, 
you're gonna scale your business. My last point to all of this and the most important thing to me that I took away from this, there was the amazing networking, the things we learn, people we met. I probably connected with 50 people, phenomenal. But the biggest thing that I saw already after day two, then at six o'clock, we came home, we got 20 of our guys sitting in the Airbnb. We have five hours worth of conversations about the business, where people wanna go, what goals are, people making bets, people challenging each other, playing basketball. We had a whole night of all kinds of talks that we've never had before because we are in this environment and when you bring people to this environment and Pat pushes you to have those tough conversations, you just, you, you are in the right environment too. You know, you're in the right place, you're gonna have those tough conversations and you're gonna have the conversations that are gonna change your business. And that's what happened last night after the vault and that was by far, I think, the biggest thing that is gonna affect our business and our, our income. Yeah, I'm extremely excited to see how the next year goes. That was the Volt Conference 2024, exposed live here in West Palm Beach, Florida.